back to the question, part two, sorry about that. How much can we capitalize? Well, you'll recall our weighted average accumulated expenditures for the year. We're 583,749. Our construction loan was 500,000 of this. So 500,000 will be at the construction loan rate of 6%. But what about the other 83,749? What rate will we use for those? Well, you'll recall we had two loans. Loan 1 and Loan 2. Loan 1 was for 3 million and Loan 2 was for 2 million. Loan 1 had an interest rate of 5%. Loan 2 had an interest rate of 4%. 5% times 350000 on the first loan, 80000 on the second loan. So using these numbers, we can say we have $5 million in debt outstanding, of which we're going to pay $230,000 of interest. There's more borrowed at 5% than 4%, so that rate's going to be closer to 5 than 4. Take the current interest expense of 230, both added together, divided by both loans added together, and see what the average rate is. When you do that, you see it comes out to 4.6%. So, the 83,749 will be at 4.6%. So how much interest can we capitalize? Five hundred thousand times six percent is thirty thousand. Eighty-three thousand seven forty-nine at four point six. Was thirty eight hundred and fifty two. Add that together, and it's thirty three thousand eight fifty two. But that would be for a year. And we didn't have a whole year. We had five twelfths. So let's finish that off by timesing it by five twelfths. And the answer is four. 15,105. So, how much can we capitalize for 2015? 14,105. So you would make an entry to put into your building account, 14,105, and take it out of interest expense, thereby capitalizing 14,105. What's in that building account now? Well, we had 1,100,000 in expenditures for the first year plus interest of 21. And in the second year, We added 600,000 more expenditures, plus another 14,105 in interest. So when you see how much in total we have tied up in this building, I feel like we need a drum roll. One, seven, three, five, one, oh, five. That is how much our building cost us. That is what it's recorded on the books at, and that's what we would be 
using to start depreciation. So a few things to note here. One, never record an amount in the building that would exceed fair market value. If you could have bought that building for 1,500,000, looks like you screwed up. You would only record it at 1,500,000 and record the rest as a loss. Number two, you can never capitalize more interest in a year than you paid in a year. These are two things to keep in mind. I just demonstrated the specific interest method to you, which means I had a construction loan and I applied the first $500,000 at the construction loan rate and then took any weighted average number above that and applied it at a weighted average rate. That's called the specific interest method. There is another method And it is called, the other method is called the weighted average method. And you use the weighted average method when you don't have a specific construction loan. So you don't have to start by hitting it with any flat rate. You simply times the weighted average accumulated expenditures by the weighted average cost of all debt. You wouldn't do it in layers like we did. Well, Hopefully, between these two pen casts, you got to see how to do um, self-constructed asset accounting. Sorry, it came out in two parts. Apparently, I accidentally shut it off partway through the first one. Blimey. Well, thanks for joining me, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now. Welcome back, my friend to my discussion on the area of plant assets on self-constructed assets. Our goal is to learn to calculate the interest to be capitalized in the second year of an ongoing contract. And it's going to be an interesting example because it's a mid-year besides being the second year. Let's bring forward some information to refresh our mind, shall we? Last year, in our factory in progress, or under construction, we materials, labor, and overhead, plus interest, that totaled 1,121,000. And another thing to remember is we finished this up on June 1st of this year, 2015. So, Let's get some facts going for our current year, shall we? And let's see where it takes us.
calculate the amount of interest that you could capitalize for 2015. Let's start with the accumulated weighted average expenditures, which are one million four hundred and one thousand dollars. The first five hundred thousand of that is going to be at six percent. But that leaves a big chunk to be at a different rate. 901 thousand dollars. What is the rate that we'll use for that? Well, we have a loan at five percent, and we have a loan at four percent. So we know it's going to be a combination of the two, and we know there's more at five percent than there's more at four. So logic should tell us we're going to be closer to five percent. Can you figure out how to calculate that? Let's take the two interest expenses, 150 for the first loan, plus 30 for the second loan, and divide it by the two loan amounts, the 3 million for the first loan, plus the 2 million for the second loan. That's 180,000 divided by 5 million, and if you figure that out, it comes out to 4.6%. That should pass a logic test with you. Something close to 5%. In this case, 4.6%. So, 500,000 times 6%. Yes, by now we've done that enough. 30,901,000 times 4.6% is 41,446. Add that together and it's 71,446. But bless your heart, that's an amount for a whole year. So you have to do one more thing before we can call this set and done. And that's times that by 5 twelfths. So, 71,446 times 5 twelfths. And ta-da, the total that we get to capitalize for 2,000. And 15 is $29,769. Where does that leave us? In our factory account. Well... Let's start with the amount we had from 2014, 1,121,000, and add in the amounts we added for 2015, which was 100,000, and 500,000 of material labor and overhead, and then we came along and capitalized another 29,000 seven hundred and sixty nine dollars. So what is the cost of our finished building? Mm -hmm.